Good evening, come on in, take a seat, wherever you like, as long as it's two metres apart. <laughs> it's in our brains, huh? I was saying the other day, if this carries on for much longer, children will be born um, with two metre arms and all this, and they'll be, you know, this. <laughs> anyway, how are you doing? Hope you're having a good week, or had a good week, I should say, and having a good weekend of good health and good food. Right, what are we having? Completely different to what I was going to do. But I'll explain what it is now. Now these black burnt looking things here and they do look burnt on there. <laughs> it's the coating. These are barbecue for Sriracha barbecue chicken thigh chops. I'm trying to say that, I've said it before to drink. From Iceland. Um now they're not going to be hot, but they should be tasty. And for once, I haven't had to overcook them. It's stated 55 minutes in the oven, centre of the oven, temperature from frozen. Which I did, and that's exact how they've turned out. So once you can get them off the foil tray, they supply them in. And then I seen this, and I thought, I've got to try this. This is a sausage and pepperoni flatbread. Right up my street. So we're having today Velin of Oil. No, it's not. Velin of Oil Double Dragon Welsh Ale. Probably better there. Ice cold. We're going to open it up. Very professional. Oh, gonna... There's nothing nicer. Now, I've said it before, a lot of people say real ale, room temperature, for taste and all that. Not for me. I'm not drinking warm beer for anybody. <laughs> right, let's give these a try, shall we? I mean, you can, well, you can tell. Just a posh chicken thigh. They've just trimmed this. Three quid for four of them, not bad. Chicken, nice inside. Wow, that's nice. That is nice. Mmm, oh, that's good. Mm. Crisp, crispy skin. I apologise in advance if my teeth are black, or they will be black. Mm. Mm. Beautiful chicken. Mm. But hang on, they're not hot. So, for added heat, I'm going to say a big thank you to Leanne, if you're watching. And, um, a partner, <clears throat> Ant, he likes uh, hot and spicy stuff. And uh, Leanne bought him some of this, and he recommends to try it, uh, as it's hot. And it's called Trinidad Scorpion. Um, hot he hot heads oh yeah, hot heads um, hot heads lethal hot chili sauce with a brutal sting in its tail so it's what oh, was going to kick me at the end is it warning use with caution <laughs> are we taking a notice of that I'm gonna try it on here first I'll give it a so many thanks aunt give it a try and thank you Leanne and hope you're both keeping well in this mad mad time we're going through here we go try sort of teaspoon half teaspoon three quarters whatever 
Mm. Nice taste. I like the bits in it. Chili seeds. Makes the mouth water. Mm. Chili seeds. So bite on them, get it. Nice. Not over the top of the minute. But will that change? Let me just put this. Bear with me. Save making a noise. That's a nice sauce. So there's a nice tingle now. So it does build up a bit. So it's building there now. Mouth's watering. I like the I like Trinidad. I like um scorpion. Nice taste. Oh dear, look at that. I don't know if you can see the chili right in there. Where is it? Just there. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six chili rating. So it makes your mouth water. Beautiful taste. Bits in it, which are the chili seeds. That is nice. Really nice. Put some on here in a minute. Mmm. Oh yeah. Mm. I was going to do today crispy chili beef. <clears throat> if you followed me mm, skin before or for a while you will have seen me have it. Uh, crispy chili beef and it's lovely and I've got all the stuff ready in oh that's lovely got everything in and um, with things happening today because you need time to prep that cookie um, but time went on because we've been out to um, shopping and then because you have to queue now to go in and wait and come out and do this and we had to do a couple of shops and uh, a few jobs in the garden and time went on so I didn't have time to f to do it and I wanted to film it you see that's why I wanted more time but uh, anyway let's try this uh, there's a lovely um, tingle it's not, it's not exactly a burn well for not for this mouth but it's a lovely tingle there that you've had something and it's nice and your mouth you know that oh it's lovely wow so sausage and pepperoni mm. wow that's nice that is nice Oh, I got two sauces. We just heated up. Okay, so out with it. What, what's on your menu? What's on the menu this evening? Mm. And drink. May have him. Nice colour, that, isn't it? Double dragon, beautiful. And I've run out of this. I haven't had this for a while. This is um, the hot version of Blue Dragon Sweet Chili. This is nice. Beautiful. Good bit on there. So these are much nicer than I thought they were going to be. I like the sriracha taste. 
It's lovely. All doing well in the garden. Even though we've gone from very hot weather it's sort of dropped overnight really um, colder, not, not freezing um, but colder and rain, that's welcome and the wind, there's a bit of wind today but uh, everything's okay um, I made Mrs H a mint tea from the herb garden shall we say That, oh, that's hot. It's like a tomato puree in the middle of this, and it's still hot from the oven. Wow, these are nice. Mm. Tomorrow's dinner roast pork tomorrow. Um, we've got a shoulder joint. Quite a big one for the money to be fair so what I'm going to do is halve it half in the freezer and then I'm going to do sage and onion stuffing um, and I'm thinking because the the joint is rolled take all the string off halve the joint well no I'll leave half I'll Cut in half, put half in the freezer, and then the half that's left, take the string off, cut into the joint, into the centre, and put in some sage and onion stuffing, and then re roll it. I've got some butcher string down there. Um, but that may change. I may do the stuffing in little stuffing balls like that and roast it separate. I'm not sure yet. Depends how you feel at the time. Some Maris Piper potatoes, which will be... Mm, I could steam them and mash them. But I'll probably boil them. And then butter them, salt them, mash them. Uh, carrots, i got green beans, runner beans. Uh, the crackling we'll have off the pork, because I'll score it, salt it. Uh, so we'll have roast pork, stuffing, carrots, runner beans and lascentos of gravy. Thank you. Well, carling lager, which I'll be on after this. Carlsberg, but I won't touch that yet. And I've also got some Thatcher's cloudy lemon cider. I absolutely love that stuff. If you like um, a sweet or a citrusy type cider, I think if you like strawberry and that type of stuff, you'd love it. Mm. Better crispy skin. Mm. Quite a hot one. Mm. Anything else to tell you? Uh, you what? Bloody ice cream now. There's a new one there, a new tune. Can you hear it? Do you want ice cream? <laughs> you can have this on ice cream, can you? Hmm. He's late, isn't he? <coughs> or she. 
when we were kids we used to have a, a cornet and if you were rich you had a 99 with a flake chocolate and some hundreds and thousands sprinkled on top <laughs> or I always remember my grandmother why am I telling you that she'd have a cornet but if she could she'd always ask him have you got the wafers so she'd have a sort of the cornet had that creamy um, I don't know what you call it like a creamy sort of ice cream but uh, the other one was more solid uh, I used to cut a block of you know piece put a wafer there put a block on and then the wafer on top and hand it and she'd, she'd have one of them or a chalk ice that's another thing she's of chalk ice <laughs> I like jock ice when you can get it. Mm. Tell you when you look at these, four of them, you think nah, there's not a lot there. It's good. Sriracha, barbecue, chicken thigh chops, three pounds in Iceland. I think this was this flatbread. Oh, I can't remember now. I don't think that was three quid. Was it? I'm only having half. The other half's in the freezer. Ooh. Tender chicken, beautiful. That's one thing I've noticed about Iceland. Tesco good as well, but their chicken always seems to be good. Well, this is proper you know, chicken, and it? it looks black. Well, it is looks <laughs> black, but that's the coating, you see, like it's done on a barbecue. All that, all that's to the flavour. You up too much tomorrow? Yeah, so my intention was to do this crispy chilli beef. Because um, I made it last time. I don't think I filmed it. Or did I? I don't think I did. I was going to film. And then have the chilli beef tonight, and it's lovely. You sort of double fry it. And I was going to make the batter hot by adding some reaper powder to the batter dry. And then... Oh, give me a chalk ice and... Thank you. I know that tune. Yeah. I named that tune in one. <laughs> da -dun -da 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 -da. Anyway, <coughs> these videos are going terrible. Oh, this is lovely. What was I saying? Oh, oh yeah. Make the batter dry with corn flour um, season that salt and pepper and this um, reaper powder so that coats where you put the beef why am I telling you that I'll, if I'll make it I'll, but you put the beef in a bowl salt pepper crack an egg in there mix it up um, And like that, and then you chuck it in the, the corn flour, you know, mix it, mix it until it all separates. And then you put some oil in a wok, in a pan, in whatever you're using. Um, I've got a deep frying pan, so I oil in there 180 degrees, roughly hot, and then in for about a minute. Pull them out on tissue paper, on the 
this stuff. Kitchen roll, and then uh, leave it for five minutes, ten minutes. Make your sauce of choice, whatever you're doing, a chilli sauce. With chilies, ginger, garlic, vinegar, a um, bit of honey. And then uh, you get the oil still hot, <laughs> still hot. And then double fry it and then put the beef back in, fry it. About a minute, two minutes. And uh, until it's golden brown, you know, and then drain it again on some of this. Uh, put it on a plate and then dress it with a sauce and there's your got crispy chilli bit. No need to do I won't do a video now, I've just <laughs> shown you how to do it. Uh, right. Teeth may be black, but we care not. Enjoyment is the name of the game. I must be honest, I'm stuffed. Three chicken and one of these. So enjoy that. Thanks, Leanne. And Hothead Trinidad Scorpion Sauce. I like the scorpion chilli taste. Um, this is nice, and you've got the chilli seeds in it, which is, there's a good texture to it. Um, there's a tingle there, it's not a burner for me, it doesn't, but it makes me, you know, it makes your mouth water. You can feel it, and there's a lovely tingle there, it builds up a bit, um, but it's nice, it's a nice sort of, you know you've had something, really nice. So, uh, I'll finish this now, just a bit, if you ever get a chance to try this, it's a uh, Felin Voil Double Dragon, beautiful stuff, what's the, what's the, uh, here we go, it is, what's the strength of it, 4.2%, so, As I say, real ale, the, the, the snooties out there, yeah, yeah. you know, you guess I've said this before on the other channel. Mm. Now well, let's carry on spit it on the bucket, you must be joking mate, going down the old uh, gullet, that is. And it must be room temperature, and I can understand that if you're a connoisseur, which I'm not, I just like to ice cold, open it up. And enjoy it. If I like the taste, and enjoy it, and respect it. Or if you follow me on the other other channel, shaving channel, I'll see you in the morning. Um, what are we using? Well, I can't tell you, can I? I know what I'm using, but <laughs> yeah. So see you if you if you're on there. I'll see you on there in the morning. Um, have a great uh, rest of the weekend. Stay safe. Um. Have something good to eat if you're in tonight or whatever. I hope you enjoy it. If you join me, many thanks for the chat. And um, thank you for the recommendations. Leanne and Ant. And uh, yeah, that's it. I'll leave you in peace. Have a great weekend. Stay safe. And I'll see you in the next video, which may be sooner than you think. You never know. Something comes into the old noggin. And uh, I'll be seeing you soon. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going. That's it. All right then. All the best. Take care. Good timing.